What's good ladies and G's? Trouble 81 Snipes here today. We're going over defense on Detroit, search and destroy, competitive strats and dips, uh, Atlas is of course defense. Uh, well, the first thing we're going to look at here is your A side AR sniper. Uh, this guy is probably going to have to be your best player, uh, best talker, one of those two things for sure because a lot of teams uh, like to start out, well, actually I like to play the A-bomb a lot here. Uh, this is a dangerous, dangerous spot, but it's also a good way to get a pick if you're quick enough. Um, the first thing that he's going to be looking for is this guy challenging this head glitch. Uh, I like to stay back here because if you pop up and get too far, uh, you're going to get picked from that window and 100% if they're coming A, they're going to nade this spot. So you have to be on your toes. Uh, maybe use Exo Trophy. But the main goal here is uh, if you can't get that pick, uh, don't challenge for more than one shot. For the simple fact that you just want to stay alive and keep them off the bomb. So if you peek here, you miss the first shot, just instantly jet away, switch to your AR, back up, because they're going to need the shit out of this room. Um, if you run the setup that I recommend, you, you're going to have a guy right there or up there. And they will be able to keep them off the bomb as you rotate back and just keep them out of this room. So you just want to just kind of lay here. You want to make sure that your guy doesn't get uh, peeked from office. But you just want to stay alive in this room and you and your teammate working from right there. Uh, just need to keep them off bomb and just hold down this side of the map. That's your main goal is this right side AR. Defend the objective. Uh, here you're going to have your right side middle AR. Uh, this guy can play a couple different spots. I like this spot. Uh, if the team hasn't been pushing A, uh, you can get a quick pick here. you got to be really confident in your player that goes in green room though. If you do this, uh, you got to expect him to cover the office. And you really got to trust this guy to get a pick too. So that's really for like high skill snipers. Um, but right here is a really easy spot to play. You can try and help on that glitch. You can uh, bounce nades uh, over in that corner. If you get good at it, you can actually bounce them in that room. Uh, your only concern really is coming out of this office. Uh, if you see a guy peek, just kind of hop right here and then let your green room guy help you out. Um, I know he can boost at you, but just knife him, get rid of him. Uh, it shouldn't really be a threat. They should really be expecting a guy in there on the offense uh, so they shouldn't really try to push out of office so you're really pretty safe right here and if you want to get kind of aggressive jump up here with a sniper try and get that pick maybe get them off the bomb if you need to there's plenty of cover right here so this just needs to be a talkative player uh, one of your smarter players that can just move around and see if he can see anybody and make those call outs for your guys that are rotating over or, or trying to flank. Uh, right here is going to be your middle sniper AR. This guy has a pretty simple job, although it can get complicated pretty quickly if the other team tries for like an office push or uh, through a mid street push. Alright, so for the first thing that you're looking for is somebody rushing that ambulance right there. You can watch a cross right here without really exposing yourself to anything. If you want to get real aggressive and you're confident in your shot, uh, you can post up right here. Uh, people will challenge you on offense. Uh, they'll try to watch a cross. They're looking for the cross up here for a flank. I'll show you that on the offensive video. But anyways, you're looking for somebody that's posting up on the ambulance or somebody sitting in the back trying to watch the flank. Uh, if you find out they're going A, you can go as far to as to move up into here and you're just watching anybody that's pushing in the office or mid street uh, you can just kinda lay here and just kinda see what's going on hang out you don't really have to be that aggressive as your best two players should be over there defending A if they do decide to push B uh, you're really you're set up to watch mid street and it's really hard to take the bomb B and you'll see why on the offensive side but uh, you're watching mid street and you really can't get flanked right here if your other two guys 
Your other three guys are doing their jobs and talking correctly. Uh, right here on the left side, uh, you want this to be... This could honestly be your worst player, uh, depending on how you look at it. Um, if he wants to get real crazy, he can help uh, go for this. Try to get this double pick right here. Maybe this guy is like up here and he's picked you guys a lot. Uh, he can help and for sure maybe get this a 3v3 if that's how you guys want to play it. Uh, if not, he's just going to dash across here safely. And then really the easiest spot to do is just sit right here. Um, if he gets in a gunfight in this room, it's pretty easy to win. Uh, if they're checking this corner, uh, they're pretty damn good players. But either way, even if they're checking this corner, he's got to come right there. If he can just pre-fire, or not pre-fire, but pre-aim this. Uh, check this every once in a while. They really, this is the only flanking route that your enemy has. And if you've got a guy sitting here being patient and not rotating to A too early if they go over there, then you should be picking up any flanks pretty easily. Um, if he wants to get a little aggressive, he can push out into here. Um, I like to lay right here sometimes. Uh, catches people off guard. Or just sit in this corner uh, anywhere over here or even if he can get in this corner behind this door so they can't see him. Uh, his main job is just watching the flank because most teams are going to go to A. But if they do go to B, it's a pretty easy pickup for him. Uh, thank you guys for watching Detroit defense uh, offense will be up uh, tomorrow um, I thought about doing maybe a class setups but I know a lot of the pro guys do that so I w wasn't really worried about that but maybe I thought about doing like a search and destroy just kind of all around game type discussion how it's changed from black ops to ghosts uh, to this game uh, how it's different how it's the same and just kind of the my mindset and some of the different mindsets of SND. Uh, let me know if you guys would be interested in any of those. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys picked up something from this. And if you guys have any suggestions on the next uh, map or game type, let me know. And if there aren't any, I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna finish search and destroy, and then we'll probably move on to hard point because that's the game type that I know the best. Um, like I said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.